Welcome back to Brick by Brick. Today we're gonna to be going through the most valuable Lego minifigures in my $4,500 Lego investing collection. So we will come back to the values of these minifigures, but for now we are going to go to the loose minifigures section of my investments. So this, these are from minifigures from sets that generally I've already opened or they've been built. And uh, for example, I bought the Barador set. I decided to sell the build, but I kept the minifigures because I had a good feeling they would go up in value by a pretty good margin. And uh, they are already worth quite a bit. So we have right off the bat, the Sauron minifigure. This one is worth $87, pretty great. Then a Mouth of Sauron worth about 42, Gothmog 25, the Orc 20, uh, another couple other Orcs each worth about $20. And then we have the Gollum. This is the new version of the Gollum with round eyes. Uh, this one is worth about $12. Samwise Gamgee, Frodo Baggins, each worth about $9. Then I also got some uh, minifigures from the office set. I opened up one of them, Dwight, Michael, uh, and then I'm not sure what set this one is from. I think this might be from a, oh, this is from the Indiana Jones set. If I remember correctly, yes, Temple of the Golden Idol. So I did open and build that one. A couple other minifigures from that. We have some more office minifigures that are worth a decent amount. Definitely not as much as the Sauron minifigure. That is probably, or that is the most valuable minifigure I have in my collection. But uh, after we look at those, we'll go over to the minifigures that are in still in boxes in my retired sets. So we have Zekus. This is from the 20th year anniversary Boba Fett starship. This minifigure has just gone up in value by a huge margin, going up in value by about 18% a year, and it's gotten it's gone to about $52. Then we have the Mario. This is this is one isn't really a minifigure. It's kind of a large build that. Um, is able to be used and interacted with the other Lego Mario pieces and some of the um, little activation pieces that work with it. But that one is worth about $25. Then we have Princess Leia. I think Princess Leia is also from the Boba Fett Starship set. And then we get to some of the minifigures. So I own my most valuable set is the Lego Hogwarts Castle set, the one that comes with uh, Godric Gryffindor, Salazar Slytherin, Helga Hufflepuff, and then as well as uh, Rowan, uh, uh, or the Ravenclaw girl, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But anyhow, so they are worth each about $20 a piece. And then we have the alloy figure. This is from the Horizon Zero Dawn set that uh, Lego made a while ago. I can't remember if that one is retired or not, but it has done pretty well. The minifigure is one of the more valuable elements of the set. And we have Boba Fett from the Boba Fett starship wearing a uh, signature Let's see here, pauldron cloth with dark orange stripe patterns. Pretty cool there. Then uh, Princess Amidala, Padme Amidala. This one is worth about $15. And then we get down here, some of these minifigures are in the $10 range. We have uh, the pork grind. I think that's kind of a cool figure. And then Dwight again, and then some of the office figures. Princess Leia, and then we have a bunch of minifigures here. Han Solo and Carbonite worth about $5. Now we're getting into like the $5 or so range. Quite a few minifigures in that section. Bowser Jr. worth about, that one surprises me. I would have guessed he'd be worth a little bit more. Um, but then we have some other Harry Potter, Star Wars, some other, we have the Wolverine figure. This Wolverine figure has been from an interesting Lego investment of mine. It's done, actually has done pretty well. And go look at that one. So this is the Wolverine mech armor set. I bought it for, I got it 20% off. It retails for $10, so I got it for $8, and it's now worth about uh, $16.20. So it's more than doubled in value, which is pretty great. And uh, the minifigure in this in that little set is kind of the driving force behind its value. I don't know if Wolverine is in any other sets, or at least that version of Wolverine, but we'll have to see. And then we have a couple other LEGO Star Wars sets, or minifigures in Harry Potter, more Star Wars, The Office. Lots of minifigures here, and then we'll get down to the ones that are worth the least. So we have the Hoth Troopers, and then we have a couple other figures here. There are quite a variety of Lego minifigures in my collection. And then we get the Scorpion guy, and then there from the Everyone is Awesome set, we have quite a few of those colorful um, builds, like the brightly colored minifigures. Uh, if there's the pink one, the blue one, and then the other ones there. Then we have some uh, Friends sets from the Friends TV show. And uh, a couple other here. Those minifigures aren't worth too much. That's a little surprising to me. I thought that the Friends minifigures would be worth more. And then we get into some of the micro figures from the 
Lego uh, Hogwarts Castle set, a bunch of Harry Potters that are each worth about $2. And then finally, we end with each of these little micro figures. But feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Uh, usually, the mini figures in a set are generally a great driving force to help increase its value. So it can be important to keep an eye out for good mini figures to invest in, especially from the uh, exclusive line that you're buying. But uh, they can be a great addition to a set and help increase its value. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions, and don't forget to like and subscribe.